Saturday, there will be a million dollars on the line for a group of 10 two-year-olds looking to take the Delta Downs jackpot. And that will be coming up as race number seven part of what will be a fantastic pick four to play at Delta Downs. Talk about the sequence and the jackpot in particular. We're going to bring track announcer Don Stevens onto the program. Don, uh, this is the type of year where anybody that has anything to do with Delta Downs is extremely excited. You guys are going to be in the spotlight for sure. Oh, we are. It's our one week of the year where we really shine nationally, and uh, we really enjoy it. And it uh, looks like this week uh, Mother Nature is going to be good to us, too. Sun's out right now, cool temperatures, beautiful, about 70 degrees, and we expect it to be similar on Saturday afternoon. I'm looking at the field, and I'm having a very difficult time putting a red X through any of the 10 horses. <laughs> Seven of the 10 are coming off of a win. You do have some that are a little more proven stakes quality than others, but even some of the ones that are going to be tested for class really seem to be precocious and budding with ability. This is a very deep race. Yeah, it really is. I mean, last year, of course, you had to exaggerate Sunny Ridge. They looked pretty good on paper, and they ran that way. It was very formful. This year, like you said, you've got a lot of horses coming in with um, some with graded stakes experience. Uh, only three in the field have been graded stakes plays. One graded stakes winner in Gunavera. Um, you've got others like Pat on the back, who's been doing very well in New York, but he's a New York bred running against state bred company up there, so he's got to prove himself in an open field. And uh, you've got others like the local horse here who won uh, the Jean Le feet stakes uh, line judge he ran spent his summer up at canterbury won a stake up there came and won the jean lafitte here and did it easily with cj mcmahon but again this will be his biggest test so it is very interesting and of course we got some of the nation's best trainers and jockeys in here javier castellano rides gunavera we've got doug o'neill we've got bob baffert we've got steve asperson we've got kenny peak so it's kind of like a who's who uh, if you can't sink your teeth into this race with a field of 10 then you're just not a racing fan this is going to be the uh, culmination of a $200,000 guaranteed pick four all stakes races beginning in race number four. Another benefit to play this pick four, you guys have the lowest takeout in the country when it comes to the pick four of only 12%. This is going to be a magnificent opportunity for the horse player. Right. We've been offering that since the season started back on October the 19th. And uh, I think fans nationally, it took a few weeks to catch on, but now the pools are really starting to blow up. Uh, they're recognizing that. And I really see this Saturday with the uh, 200,000 guarantee, which I think is going to be way low. We always go over that anyway. And with the 12% and uh, three full fields in uh, – three out of the four legs of the pick four and a tremendous delta mile which has a field of seven but it's a very good field i think this year we could set records for the pick four handle in there and with the 12 percent takeout you know you solve the puzzle it's not easy this year but you solve it you're going to get a lot more cash in your pocket i'm going to somehow have to figure out a way to go thin early because i really would love to be alive to the all button in the jackpot no that would be a great place to play it you just have to get there and then you hope for some odds to come in you know and uh, last year, there was a little bit of moisture in the track when Exaggerator won. And as it turned out, that was fine for him. He went on to be one of the better off-track specialists uh, of recent memory. But uh, as you said, it's expected to be a perfect day for racing this year. Yeah, it really is. We've been looking at the weather forecast over the last few days. It hasn't changed at all. And like I said, it's finally started to feel a little bit like fall down here. Uh, we're on the Gulf Coast, so it takes a while sometimes. A few weeks ago, we were tapping out at 85, 87 degrees, pushing 90 and still very sweltering and muggy. Right now, it's dried out. And like I said, the temperature is around 70, and it could be not be more perfect. The mornings are cool, and the afternoons are beautiful. It's still only carrying a grade three status, but with that purse and the type of horses that have come out of the Delta jackpot and gone on to have tremendous careers, Golden Sense and Exaggerated would both come to mind. I think we've got to be inching a little bit closer to an upgrade. Well, yeah, Golden Sense, Exaggerator, the Princess, of course, had Teppen, probably the most accomplished, most talented horse to ever run here on Jackpot Day and on the Philly race. And you had Big Drama in 2008. And, of course, our prep race for the Princess is called the My Trusty Cat. She won it way back in the inaugural year, 2002. But she was a grade one winner after she ran here. So some tremendous horses come through here. We put 14 horses in the uh, Churchill Downs starting gate for the Kentucky Derby after running here in the Jackpot and we did it uh, with two of them last year. We've had eight over the last four years. Uh, even though we've gone to the point system that people thought it would water us down and hurt us, uh, we put more in recently than we had in years past when graded stakes earnings were used. And I think this year, I mean, you look from top to bottom, every two-year-old in there has a chance to, to really end up being a derby horse. Yeah, I went back and looked at the sales prices of all 10 horses, and uh, 
the combined sales prices of all 10 were over $2.4 million. So uh, these are some highly thought of young individuals. Uh, of course, hot shot for Bob Baffert. I saw him get off the van yesterday coming over from Houston after flying in from Southern California with Baffert and O'Neill's uh, horses, and he looked tremendous. He settled in fantastically. He was on the track this morning with local rider Chris Rozier in the saddle, and I got some video of him coming off the track. Gave me a big thumbs up and a huge smile. He just loves being on him, you know, being able to exercise a horse like that, and he took to the track really well. And uh, so we expect him to do well. And Dangerfield looked very good for O'Neill coming in. Um, the horse has been here all week. The morning line favorite, Gunna Vera, for Antonio Sano. Uh, his assistant, Larry uh, Kelly, I've been talking to him every morning. And this horse is really acclimated well. He looks tremendous. And so does Pat on the back, Kenny McPeak's horse. But Gunna Vera has been here since last Saturday. So he's had plenty of time to get used to the, the local cooking, if you will. Speaking of locals, you got G Money, Gerard Melanson, the only local rider per se, that has picked up a mount. And guess what? It's a Louisiana bred, a Tip Tap Tapazar, and the horse has a, a start over the track. The post is probably not ideal, but this could be a, a, a sleeper here from the outside. Well, you say it's not ideal, but in the last five years, all the winners have come from post 8 through 10 and two of them from post 10. You remember Ocho, Ocho, Ocho. You remember Rise Up. They started in post 10. Exaggerator started in post 9. Uh, so in, way back in 2011, it was Sabercat breaking from post 8. So the, the outside has not been a detriment at all. And you've been here. You know that once they come out of the gate, they start in the front side shoot. They've got a three furlong run to the first turn. So there's plenty of time for positioning. And people need to keep their mind on the fact that this race often produces very fast fractions. We've had some come-from-behind winners coming from out of the clouds, like Saber Cat, Bird Bird is the word. So although you think of a short stretch and tight turns, you can come from behind here. These two-year-olds sometimes get keyed up early and go a little too quick. Uh, Bob Baffert knows that all too well with a horse named Drill here in 2011. I talked to Jimmy Barnes back there as assistant, and he said, yeah, that was just a nightmare the way that race unfolded, and that pretty much put in the lap of Saber Cat uh, back in 2011. So pay could make the race in here, and uh, it's definitely going to be a factor. I'm going to rephrase that. Watch out for Tip Tap Tabazar from the ideal <laughs> 10 post. Don, uh, thank you so much. We look forward to your call, and I'll be there joining you on Saturday for the $1 million Delta Downs jackpot. Well, I'll be honored to have you here, Dave, and we're going to treat you well, and we're definitely going to feed you well. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Looking forward very much to the $1 million Delta Downs jackpot coming up Saturday at Delta Downs. Thank you.